Hello everybody, welcome back to some more banjo Tui. Yeehaw! Here on Carve Artie's channel. Last time we finished the best world, World Free Witchy World. Fantastic, uh, fantastic abandoned amusement park. It was super fun to explore. Now we have to move on to World 4 today. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head on back to Spiral Mountain because we now have five more Cheeto pages that we can give to Cheeto and get us or ourselves a new cheat. Which is gonna be a very helpful cheat to have in the upcoming worlds. Hey Cheeto, what's up? Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time! Spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My second cheat is eggs. Got it. Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. This is a menu of the codes I have told you. So we have feathers and we get the new cheat called eggs. <laughs> and, uh, gee, I wonder what that one's gonna do. It's basically a repeat of the eggs code from Banjo-Kazooie 1. We also now have enough hollow honeycomb pieces to get another health extension from Honeybee. I'm Honeybee. I'll trade you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. You have enough honeycombs for one extra energy unit. Do you want to trade? <laughs> Do you want to trade? Yes. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here then, big bear. Here's your extra energy. Beautiful. We're gonna need six more hollow honeycombs before our next extension. But having extra health is always nice, especially since this will give extra health to just Banjo and just Kazooie if you use the split-up pads. And neither of them have a whole lot, especially just Kazooie. And speaking of split-up pads, we have split-up pads over here on this part of the plateau, and this is what we need to use in order to get to the next part of the ILO Hags. So Banjo, just Banjo normally would have five honeycomb uh, units. But we just gave him a six form. All right, we can set banjo, just banjo on the banjo switch. Switch over to Kazooie, and then have her step on the Kazooie switch. And this nice little gate here will open up. And this will take us to the next part of the ILO Hags, which is the cliff top. It's kind of interesting how um, there's like a, a fork in the Isle of Hags where you go to the left and you go to the Pine Grove and to the right it takes you to the cliff top. It's not just linear, which is pretty cool. And there's a Jam Jar Silo right here for us. We need 200 notes. We have more than enough. We've got 360. Ice eggs. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. New egg type, ice eggs. These are going to be useful. That'll be all dismissed. So ice eggs are the fourth egg type in the game, and, well, in case your name didn't imply, if you shoot enemies with them, you can freeze them. Granted, you usually will want to kill enemies instead, but it's useful, and it will have a lot of utility in these uh, upcoming worlds. Right here is the Isle Hags train station that Chuffy can go to, except the doors are closed right now. There's also a Mumbo pad here, which is very interesting. Mumbo is hanging out in the Isle Hags. And if we go over here, we get this nice little ledge. If we sidle across this, it'll take us to a secret platform that has, yep, yeah, you guessed it, the train switch. Press the print train switch, and now we get a new train station that Chuffy can go to. And we will be needing this train station for um, a side quest or two, so if you want to get all the jiggies, you're going to need to open up this train station. And yes, it does involve the mumble pad over there. Anyhow, so that's the, ca that's the cave that we came from. Let's continue up this way. The cliff top, as you can see, is very high up. Don't, you don't want to fall off. Take that. So we've got a couple of alcoves here with feathers, and we've got Mumbo's skull. Mumbo's hanging out in the Isle of Hags as well. He's got free honeycombs for us to pick up in here. 
Hey, Mambo. Welcome again, Baron Bird. Mumbo want to help, but needs magic creature. Baron Bird got none. Yeah, we don't actually have the Globo we need to recruit Mumbo's help. But even if we did have a Globo, we still can't use anything... We still can't do anything with Mumbo. There's the one Mumbo pad, but we actually can't use it right now. If we were to step on it with Mumbo and try to dance with him, he'd be like, nothing can happen right now. So we're gonna have to actually wait for a little bit. Anyhow, we're now at the edge of the cliff. We unlock this new silo to give us a shortcut. There's an island that's floating in the sky right over there with a temple on it. And as you can see by that jiggy, uh, the jiggy altar, this is a future world. There's a door with a snowflake and a, a flame on it. Very interesting. And we can't reach there right now. And if we go over here... To Ye Lagoon. This is also an upcoming world. And we can't open it just yet. Come visit the charming resort of Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Hire a wave racer from Blubbers, shop at Pono's, or drop in at Jolly's for a refreshing ginger beer. Fun for all the family. Oh, very interesting. Also, there's this staircase we can go down here. Kind of hidden a little bit. And there's a switch switch that we can push. This will create a nice little bridge to let us reach that deserted island over there. Pretty easy to find, but I guess if you have the camera set at a weird angle, uh, you might have trouble finding it. And we get the trumpet sounds for this version of the song. There are also some notes for us to pick up here. There's also a pair of the boots that we can't use just yet. We're gonna have to wait actually quite a while for those. There's a globo up on top of this uh, temple. That's the globo that's near Mumbo's skull right here. But we're not even gonna give it to Mumbo just yet. We're gonna save it. We have 29 jiggies here. It is written that 14 jiggies are required to open this door. You have enough jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to walk to my sacred temple? Yes, please. The other altar on the, the island with the temple will take way more jiggies than what we currently have, so we actually can't open it just yet. That said, <laughs> the lagoon is the next world that we need to open up. So here's your little sneak peek at the upcoming world. That's not where I wanted to put it. That's not where I wanted to put it. <laughs> the only tough part about this game is that the hit detection on where you want to place it is a little off at times. Seems like there's this dark shrine on the level, which maybe you weren't expecting for a lagoon. But this next world is pretty big, and also a fan favorite. I'll basically say this, it's a water world that's done right. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge for, so now the Great One will show you the way. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy.
You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 5. Well, hold your horses there, Jiggy Wiggy. Yeah, the temple on the island that's an upcoming world, that's actually one of the last worlds in the game. We can reach the entrance, we just can't pass it until we get a lot more Jiggies. So, that's one we're gonna have to go back for later. Also, there's a nice little cool secret here in Jiggy Wiggy's temple. We can actually jump up here with Jiggy Wiggy. We can't talk to him. However, you can see these Jiggy Wiggy tapestries on the wall. Well, this one, we can actually just walk right through and there's a secret exit back behind Jiggy Wiggy's temple. And you can actually see a tiny crack of it in the cutscene of him, like, launching the laser. And we get free signposts here. These are secrets. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Jinjo House? So that's basically indicating where the treble clef for the ILO Hags is. Yes, we've gotten that. Witchy world is where fortune may smile upon you! So that is actually a reference to Madame Grunty's in Witchy World. It's there to make- this sign is basically there to tell you if you go to Madame Grunty's enough, you will actually get something cool. Which I will try to show off eventually. An egg container followed by Genoline? Okay, this is probably the most cryptic sign in the game and it took me years to figure out what this is indicating. This is a hint towards a super secret cheat that you can enter in the code chamber of the Mayahem Temple. And this is basically giving you a very weird hint as to what that code might be. More on that later. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Witchy World and see if Madame Grunty will give us the special thing. Most likely she won't. You generally have to go back a whole bunch in order for her to do that. But just in case she does, I wanna try it now. Ah, welcome! I will now choose your fate! You win a B-team! I like this one! Ah, uh, Madame Grunty's tent is closed temporarily for our refurbishment! Of course, well, I knew we weren't going to get it on this visit to Witchy World, but I wanted to try. Alright, we're gonna go off to the Mayahem Temple code chamber to input some new codes. Alright, so we're here in the code chamber, so Cheeto gave us the new code EGGS, so let's type that in first, that's a very easy one. The EGGS cheat will double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. That's very nice, and again, because we already have the double eggs cheat from Banjo-Kazooie active in Banjo-Tooie, just, you get that by default. Uh, that, that basically gives us quadruple the eggs from Banjo-Kazooie, and it also doubles the eggs for every egg category we have, so having 50 grenade eggs instead of 25 is going to be very useful. Now, it's time to start talking about some of the uh, super secret cheats. So, there are a couple of cheats in the game that you don't get a whole lot of hints as to what they are, but they exist and you can activate them and they're really powerful, so... That one signpost behind Jiggy Wiggy's temple, it said, an egg container followed by Genoline. So that's a hint towards one of the codes. When it says an egg container, it's referring not to the word carton, like carton of eggs, it's referring to the word nest, like a nest of eggs. And then the second one, Genoline, Genoline is a cane. So they basically expect you to associate those two words with those two words and combine them together to get nest cane. And that is actually a secret code in the game, nest cane. However, if we type it in, N, that's not how you spell one of my cheats. I'm afraid you'll have to start with the first letter again. So to activate the super secret cheats, before you type it in, you have to first type in the word Cheeto. So C-H-E, not R. C-H-E-A-T, and then, get out of the way you stupid moggy. Oh. Now they all go blank, and now if we type in Nest Cane, it'll work. So if we type in N, it doesn't activate and it doesn't make a sound, but it also didn't go burn on, which means that we're on the right track. If we shoot a letter and we get the burn on sound, that means that we've messed up a code. But if we do N and then S T or N E S T uh, the K I N G. The Nest King cheat will give you infinite eggs and feathers. Yeah, this is one of the cheats that's just really busted and kind of game-breaking. Again, if it's your first time playing or you're just playing casually, go nuts. But I am not going to be equipping that cheat, but I wanted to show it off. Another one on the same vein of Nest King is... There's also a cheat called Honey King, which is without a doubt the most broken code in the whole game. 
But we're gonna at least type it in. We don't have to turn it on, but I'm gonna show you what it is. The Honey Keen Cheat will give you infinite energy and air. So that basically makes us invincible and unkillable. The only way you can die if you have that cheat equipped is by falling to your death. Which basically trivializes every boss fight, especially if you combine it with the Nest Keen Cheat. So, you can equip it if you want. You're playing the game, but I will not be equipping that. There are also two other really interesting cheats uh, that we can equip that are, again... The Nest King Cheat, you at least kind of get somewhat of a nudge in the right direction with that really cryptic sign. The Honey King, not so much, and these other two, definitely not. So, the first one is Super Banjo. S. That was wrong. That was weird. It was acting like we hadn't messed anything up, but we definitely had. S. U. I hope that was P. E. R. B. A. N. J. O. Super Banjo. The Super Banjo cheat will allow you to run faster. If there's any one super, uh, like, secret cheat that you should equip, it is that one. It is insane. It, like, it makes the game a lot more fun, I would say, just... However, it also does make the game a lot easier because you can outrun a lot of enemy projectiles that you are not supposed to be able to otherwise. Now the final cheat. C-H-E-A-T-O to type it in. And then for the super cheat, it's super baddie. So S U P E R B A. D. We're going to wait a little bit and then shoot a second one. That way it'll register both of them. If you shoot it too close together, then sometimes it won't register one of them. And then Y. Super baddie. The super baddie cheat will make the baddies run faster. So if you want, if you kind of want to make a uh, hard mode for this game, equip the super baddie cheat. Because it actually does make the, uh, the enemies a bit faster. Alright. So we're going to equip double maximum eggs, that's fine. I will equip Super Banjo, just to show it off, I'll equip Super... Actually, I'm going to equip all of these. I'm going to equip every cheat I have, including the homing eggs, just so you can see. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see we're running a lot faster. However, the Moggies are also running a lot faster, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, if we go into first person mode with the Nestkin cheat, you see <laughs> lots. With homing eggs, we... Our eggs, yeah, you can see I wasn't aiming at the Moggy, but I was aiming close enough that it kind of auto-corrected and homed in. Doesn't work from a super far distance, but it does, uh, bas it basically makes it so you don't have to aim super precisely. It's not perfect, but it's, it's noticeable. And also, if you Talon Trot with Super Banjo, like, look how fast you go. You just rip. It also makes platforming easier because you can jump farther with the, uh, Super Banjo. But... See how fast those darts are moving? It's not just the enemies that are affected by this. It's the enemy projectiles as well, which makes some boss fights a lot harder. But because we have super ban or because we have the honey king sheet, we literally um, can't take damage. Yeah, kind of busted. I'm going to unequip all of those cheats as much as I would love to keep Super Banjo on because it makes the game a lot faster and, in my opinion, more fun. No, it makes the boss fights too easy. I actually, when I started the Let's Play, I was debating doing a Let's Play where I kept fast baddies on for the whole game to make it harder, but I decided against that. Maybe in the future, I'm definitely unequipping those. I'm also going to unequip Homing Eggs. You might not think they're that good, but they're going to make... If I kept those on, it, they would have made the up, an upcoming boss a lot easier, and I don't want that, because uh, I feel like it makes it a little too easy. Anyhow, those are the new cheats. I believe there was one other cheat I could have inputted, but I think it's literally just see the credits early, <laughs> which is a dumb cheat. Maybe I'll make a bonus video where I show off the rest. But anyhow, now that we've got double eggs, we can leave this dump and go off to World 4.